So you were wondering about resources, Sonara. All through this time, these seven weeks locked, uh, I went back to poetry. And I somehow had a lecture every day with my mate <laughs> in the morning. Uh, your spirit is so calm and empty when you wake up. It's a very important moment, I think, to read. So I used that time to rediscover poets I knew already, Walt Stevens, Anne Carson, Juan Helman, Carneiro, which is a Brazilian poet that works a lot with Egberto Gismonti. I had my flute always assembled at hand distance. So by the time a melody or a texture from the reading would come to me, I would be able to respond. There was this incredible steadiness all around, which was so positive for reading poetry because the dimension is completely different. You need a different time for poetry, I think, for the reading to capture the sense sometimes of those phrases and uh, that compactness in poetry. Um, I spent a lot of time in the garden. Seeding was spectacular. And that was the only thing that was really changing and going on into something <laughs> which now is completely exuberant. Uh, the contrast was huge. Taking my bicycle, going through the city, which was completely empty and silent, and then yet being there, surrounded by birds I never heard before, because the silence was just so amazing and wonderful. We could hear things we never heard before, right? Poetry, music. There was this strong conversation with myself, permanent conversation with myself. What can I say? Yeah, that voice becomes so loud. Yet I'm going to close this with a quotation from Juan Helman and an image that came to my mind. Juan Helman, he says, poetry is that tree without leaves that is still giving us huge shadow. That image of a tree without leaves offering shadow, that was the tree I decided to be. Just underneath, sitting in silence right there.